Hey there. Today we're gonna take a look at uh, three different piles. The question is what does he or she think or feel about you? I have prepared three piles between which you can choose and uh, after that we're gonna take a look uh, in your tarot cards and I will use a seasonal fox tarot deck in order to answer some extra questions regarding that person so let's not waste any time and start with pile number one hello there pile number one for everyone who chose pile number one the dolphin we're gonna just first take a look at the dolphin itself dolphin says this and that are true so that's the message of the dolphin in general the dolphin is a quite deep swimming animal goes through the deep and is a carrier of emotions so I can't wait to see your tarot cards let's see okay just gonna put the dolphin here on the side so you know that this is about pile number one with the dolphin for those who chose the dolphin now I'm gonna take some clarifications regarding the tarot cards that came out just bear with me for a few seconds okay okay hmm interesting okay pile number one so what i see here this person definitely feels something strong about you it's not like he doesn't notice you or it's not like you just pass by and he's like who's that person i don't care about that person he definitely feels something about you he definitely is noticing you he's seeing you like sun like the like something that has a lot of light like something that immediately drive, drives draws his drives his attention but the sun when i asked for the clarifications about the sun i got the lover's card but it's reversed maybe he sees you as some kind of a some kind of mm, person that he he that that is out of his league someone who is like oh no he's way too good for me or she's too, way too good for me so no i i find him or her attractive but no he's way too bright for me he he's blind in my he or she are blind in my eyes <laughs> okay moving on further mm, it's like this person is leaving something behind even though he sees some kind of potential in his general plan he's like he's like I, 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 uh, there, there is, there is, now is not the time, now is not the time, so instead of like doing some kind of a, some, doing, doing the, the move, I better just sit and wait, and he's like emotionally detaching, like moving in a different direction. Hmm. Further on, something in his life is changing. Something is changing, but uh, uh, that change might be for positive, or it might be regarding another person in his life, or it might be you. I'm not sure, but here there is a Queen of Cups. So 
this person is like emotionally detaching himself or something. It's like he's thinking like, maybe now is not the time, maybe I should wait. And he's leaving that matter that is regarding his love life. He's leaving it behind. But here we see that something in him is changed. With the death card, something is changing in him. And uh, he's like, he's like more focused into this Queen of Cups, which I hope it's you, but let's let's just let's just draw draw some more cards and see. Is the Queen of Cups the person who is watching this video? Are the changes regarding this person? Hmm. Okay, the moment I draw these cards on the bottom of my deck, I have two of cups. I just want you to see the two of cups. I'm gonna put the deck somewhere so you can see it. Yep. So, hmm. it feels like it might be you, the person that that he he is having changed of mind about. He's like finally recognizing something. Like there is there is a lot of potential. I should grab this. I should just get it. This person is is someone I should not miss sees the potential in you like you are the queen of cups you have so much emotions you have you are full of life you are full of romantic feelings and everything that he wants and in the bottom of the deck like you can see in quite love thematic we have the two of cups two of the foxes are like holding their cups so to sum it up I think he sees you as someone who is out of his league but well yeah in the beginning he sees you as someone who is out of his league but also at the same time he's like maybe it's not the time maybe I should just wait or maybe I should just detach myself emotionally because this person is out of my league but later on something in his is going to change if it hasn't changed it's going to change with the death card and after this change he will start seeing you like the queen of cups like the person that that can be with that the person that carries all the things that he needs and he will just want to like grab you like like just not miss you so that's your message pile number one i hope i hope you liked it and uh, just remember that this is a collective reading it's not a personal reading so not all the messages might be for you but I hope all the positive ones are valid and everything just comes through. Hello there, file number two. Now we're gonna take a look at your animal spirit card to start with. Canary spirit, sing your own song. So I feel like for pile number two, Mm, you, you just need to take a step, you just need to make a move or just show yourself, show who you are, express yourself, just sing your own song just like the Canary Spirit is advising you. So let's not waste any time and check your tarot cards. Okay, now let's... Let's have some clarifications with my other tarot deck. Okay. Mm. 
Oke. Okay. Hmm. Okay, guys. Well, this is a collective reading. It's not a personal reading, so please just take all the messages that you feel are relevant for you because not all these messages might be regarding you but let's start with the first cards we have knight of pentacle and uh, two of wands both cards are like slow the knight of pentacles i feel like that person is is determined but he's like way too slow he's moving too slow even if he likes you he's like not making any move he's like determined to move maybe towards you but at the same time he's taking very slow steps he just wants to make sure before he does anything and he's like he's making a lot of strategies like he's he, he doesn't want to make any move before he makes it clear in his mind how it's gonna be and it's just the energy is like moving really slow here because the person himself he cannot like make a firm decision to to go towards you with with high speed he's like he's taking everything slow and going further um, he might have some fears regarding another person in his life a woman figure someone who is like it, it could be a boss in general I feel like he's more worried more concerned about money at the moment it's not that much love like energy it's more financial or oriented energy here mm, there is a woman who is like could be his boss or just someone in his life who he feels like he feels quite upset about that woman makes him feel a bit depressed a bit obsessed and he he's not able to see things clearly he's like sinking in his own fears in his own depression or overall something is like is making him stuck with fear And moving on further, um, I see that in financial aspect, he's going to receive something. He's going to receive something in financial aspect, something fair that he has earned, something that he deserves. And he's actually waiting for that. It's something that he's been waiting for and he's been like his thought process are mostly focused on that on that money thing on that financial question that has been bothering him that's why he's taking all those slow steps making things with like a lot of strategy he always like prefers to make plans and then move but even his movements are quite careful and slow. Mm, let's take some clarifying cards regarding this situation here with the depression and the fears and that woman. Let's see what that woman is about. What does she want from him? Any clarifying cards? Okay, well, that's definitely some kind of matter of work, something regarding work, regarding money, with the Eight of pent Pentacles. It's definitely a question of work, and he's like, that, that woman 
makes him work hard probably that woman is his boss or just someone from his work some someone whom he's related in his work and that person requires the person you're thinking about to work too hard and he's like having something like like mini burnout like depression like not knowing which way to go and a bit feeling anxious but overall the energy of this pile i'm sorry for saying that but it's not that much love related the canary spirit says sing your own song it might be also related like just just find your own way find find your own song but that person at the moment he's not I don't feel like he's oriented too much into love and relationship. His, what's going on in his head is more regarding his financial situation, not that much about love and relationship. So I'm sorry if this disappoints you, but these are how, this is how the <laughs> tarot cards came out. But just remember, this is not a personal reading, it's just collective reading so maybe not all messages are for you maybe just one or two messages are for you but just however i mean you just feel which which one is for you and the reason that you have been drawn to this pile it means that there is something that you need to hear it's not just a coincidence so i wish you everything to work out in your favor and i move on with pile number three Hey there, pal number two. Now, let's first take a look at your animal spirit card and see what the message is. Claim your independence. So, the cats are quite free-spirited. They are a bit dominant and they know their territory. So, this card invites you, the message in this card invites you to claim what's yours to just to just no mark your territory and claim what's yours because cats are hunters so let's let's see your your tarot messages oh okay so to get more clear messages i will use some of my seasonal fox tarot that as well okay okay now just gonna move this one a bit more up together with this one so you can see also which cards came out okay now king of swords king of swords this person that you're asking about he's thinking a lot either he's thinking too much he's he's like too logical he, he he doesn't have room for emotions or intuition or anything that comes from some kind of other sources than logic this person is really logical but seen you know on both t two times king of swords it also might be some people in his life like some kind of authority figures that are like advising him he might have some advisors, some older people that might give him advices what moves to make in his life. And overall, the sort energy is like a lot of thinking. He might be thinking about you, but that's not like, it's not, it's not precisely indicated that it might be regarding you or Later we will take some more cards to see more information regarding this. Moving up further, this person has like, 
he feels stuck. He feels like he is not ready for something. He might want something, but he is he's not ready for it, and he feels stuck. He's like suffering from that kind of sensation that there is nothing he can do in his life. It's like even if I do that, I have limits. I'm stuck with this devil card, which puts limits on me. I cannot do anything. I cannot move. I cannot. I cannot do anything. But it also could mean that the person himself might have some problems with addiction or since this is a collective tarot that could be the case also because if it was personal tarot it might be different but for collective tarots we get different messages for different people so it could be addiction problem also that he is not able to give up he doesn't have He's, he has not reached the point to give up this situation. Or overall, whatever the case is, this is some kind of situation just that, that, that just holds him back and he cannot make any move. He cannot, he doesn't feel ready. Moving on further. Well, I feel like that person might might get some kind of more positive view regarding this situation because here I see that he just recovers from something it might be some kind of a financial loss or some kind of a sickness or some kind of problem he's recovering for, from that but still he doesn't feel like things are working in his favor the world card is turned upside down so he still feels like he hasn't achieved what he wants. He has issues, like he doesn't feel complete, I would say. Mm. Overall, in this, in this pile, I don't see that much love-related topics because the person himself or herself has has issues which he or she must resolve but I'm just gonna take some extra tarot cards regarding the two kings of swords to see what's the situation there Knight of Pentacles okay <clears throat> well it could be some kind of work related issue maybe he just lost his direction where he needs to move in his work that's why he needs to think a lot about it and he needs to talk with a lot of people to get advices from people that are senior than he, than him in his work but Overall, that person is in some kind of situation that he needs to resolve. He's not thinking much about love here. He's like, he's, he's having issues which he needs to resolve. And those issues are quite likely to be financial issues. And that's why he feels stuck. He feels like whatever move he makes here, there is just no escape. He feels stuck. Even in after a period of time, he might get better, but still he feels like, like he's underachieved, like he has not, he has not received what he must receive because his world is turned upside down. But still, pile number two, please remember that this is a collective tarot. It's not a personal tarot and the messages from that tarot are not for everyone. So the, the reason that you pick this pile might mean that there is something you need to hear from this pile, but 
it does not mean that everything that you hear on this pile is uh, regarding the person you're thinking about. Also, I see on the bottom of the deck there is a judgment card which indicates that now is not the moment. Something has not reached the point to be judged. Something has not reached the point. Now is not the moment. This person has things to resolve. So I hope everything works out for your best outcome. And I hope to see you again in my next videos.